Please welcome the executive producer for 3AD Productions, currently playing Chin Ho on the CBS drama Hawaii Five-0, and known for his award-winning performance as Jin Kwan on Lost, Daniel Day Kim. He is joined by a West End veteran of the work of Neil LeBute and David Lindsay Abair, most recently seen on FX's The Bridge, Matthew Lillard. Good evening. I know when you think of Los Angeles theater, you think of me and Daniel. Uh, you know, they told me this was the Emmys. Um, I really need to fire my agent. Congratulations on your last production, though. I was nine. I was awesome. <laughs> By the way, she's doing a fantastic job. Yes. I don't know your name, but you're kicking ass. That said, uh, I really am honored to read some of the names off of this list. I am presenting the award for uh, director of a play. Uh, so, without further ado, let me get to the names. First one, first nominee is Tim Robbins for A Midsummer Night's Dream. I believe that's written by a young up and coming playwright. Uh, Jessica Kubzanski for Everything You Touch. Guillermo Cienfuegos for Henry V. Jose Luis Valenzuela for Premeditation. Michael McKetty for Stupid Fucking Bird. Daniel Sullivan for The Country House. And finally, Amanda McRaven for The Pliant Girls. And the Ovation Award goes to... We have a tie. So please hold your applause for both the recipients, Guillermo Cienfuegos and Amanda McRaven. I should have got hammered, too. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, really, I'm really, really lazy, but I worked really hard on this show, and I'm really glad I did now. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm humbled and grateful and uh, embarrassed, frankly, to be uh, singled out among these amazing directors here tonight who basically define what LA theater is capable of. So, uh, thank you to uh, LA Stage Alliance and to all the ovation voters who came out to see a Shakespearean war drama in a 15 by 25 box. Uh, that box is located at Pacific Resident Theater in Venice. I can't think of a better home that, that we could have had but PRT, and that's largely because of our wonderful artistic director, Marilyn Fox. Uh, thank you so much, Marilyn. Uh, basically, as you can probably hear, my entire ensemble is here. Uh, I would say your names, but this lady will play me off if I do. But uh, you're all, you're 11 bodies with one heartbeat, and I love you very much. But I want to single out three very quickly. One, Joe McGovern, who played the king and co-adapted the script with me. Uh, He'd never done Shakespeare before and got this crazy idea to do this and conned me into directing it. And uh, it worked because of his fierce intelligence and his enormous balls. 
and I also want to thank Norman Scott, who was my co-collaborator with all the, the, uh, the physical design of this play. We painted ourselves into a ton of corners, and using the cunning use of algebra, we figured our way out. And uh, lastly, but certainly not least, uh, my tireless and intrepid producer and partner in all things, Elspeth Weingarten, who uh, pushed us and pushed us and pushed us, and uh, we made it, baby. So uh, have fun and make a mess! And Amanda McRaven. <laughs> Holy shit, you guys, am I allowed to say that? Whew, thank you. LA Stage Alliance, it is incredible to be part of this community. This is uh, unbelievable. Um, I wanna thank you to the voters who came out and pushed us over the mark of eligible voters at our last two shows of our run. You are my angels. <laughs> I wanna thank uh, Keith Fowler and Bill Roush at UC Irvine. They're my mentors, they were incredible. And my first mentor, John Gibson, back in Virginia, who believed in me when I was freaking 19 years old. Um, and I want to thank Megan Brown for writing one of the best plays ever invented for us. It is a gift. I want to thank my incredible partner, Ray, for amazing, beautiful support all the time. And I want to thank every single member of Fugitive Kind. These are the best people I know and I'm grateful every day for their passion and generosity and talent. Theater is a terrible way to make a living, but it is an awesome way to be alive. <laughs> and I'm, I'm a better director every day because of who I get to be alive with. So all my fugitives there in the middle, thank you for going on this journey with me. This is unbelievable. Thank you to everyone in this room. I am so unbelievably proud that I chose to live in Los Angeles instead of that other place and make theater with you. Thank you. 